Hello friends, Tony here. So in the previous video we worked with uh, migration with a model. We created the relationship between the user and the task. And also we created two enums. And now in this video I'm going to start and work again with a live wire. Here I am in the dashboard and uh, we can create a component for the tasks and add it here in the dashboard directly. But I prefer to have a URL for tasks, for example, uh, to have tasks like this. And if we go there, we navigate the task and work with tasks. And it's going to be a single file. So in that file, in this file, we're going to have the form. Also, we're going to display the tasks and so on. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, what I want to show you also is I have removed the component we had before and for that I'm going to create a new one. So let's open the terminal and let's say in a new one because I had the npm running. So let's say php artisan make live wire and the name. Now here I'm going to create in the tasks directory. For that I have removed the first component. So let's say tasks and use the dot notation. And here I'm going to say task or tasks index page and hit enter. Now we have the class inside the app type wire tasks directory and then the tasks index class and the blade inside the views live wire tasks directory task dash index blade. Okay. Now, as I said, we can add here that component, but I prefer to have the URL. For that, if you go to the live wire documentation, when we have components, we have a section for full page components. So live wire allow you to assign components directly to a route in your Laravel application. Those are called full page components. You can use them to build standalone pages with logic and views. So the same we have with uh, invocable controllers. And here is the example. So to create the full page component, define a route in your route web file and use the route get method to map the component directly to a specific URL. So route get for example, post create and use the create post, which is a live wire component. So let's do that. Let's come here and let's open the web routes. And uh, I want to add it here in the middleware auth in this group because we need to be authenticated in order to create tasks because the task belong to the user. So let's do that. Let's say route colon colon get and for example slash uh, tasks I'm going to say and I'm going to use the tasks index class and give it the name for example tasks uh, index like this hit save now if we navigate the slash tasks hit enter we have this error so live wire page component layout view not found because the live wire is going to look for the components layouts app. And of course, if you go here also, we have here layouts file. So remember that full page components will use uh, applications layout typically defined in the resources, views, components, layouts, app.date.php file. But we don't have there. We have inside the layouts, not in the components. We have directly in the layouts app. For that, uh, let's open this task index and when we return, we can also say here, we can change the layout method and say, for example, here, specify the layout layouts.app is the path or layout in this case. And let's save this. And now if I come here and refresh, yeah everything works and let's open this file and just I'm going to say here for now h1 and say tasks okay let's save this and yeah here is the task okay now let's do one more thing let's go to layouts uh, navigation 
And here when we have the dashboard, I'm going to copy this and add one more for the tasks. So let's say route the B tasks dot index. And here I'm going to say tasks. Uh, tasks index not find. Yeah, we have task plural here and now we have tasks here. Okay. As I said, in this page, we're going to have the form, the list of tasks and so on. So let's add the form in this video quickly. So when we have a task index. Okay, so here I added the title slug, description and status. And so what we have, we have also the priority. So let's just copy this div here and add down there for the priority. So not country, but let's say priority and also the up here I'm going to say status and then now we have status and priority. We have description, slug and the title. Now for the status and the priority, we need to render the status from the enums. For that, I have created the enums. So let's say make a for each and use backslash up backslash enums backslash and we are in the priority. So let's use the priority type. And we need the cases. This is going to be as, let's say, the last line priority. And here, option to be with a value. And the value is going to be dollar sign priority. Now, for the value, we are going to get the value. And for the display here, let's remove this one. To this day, we need to get the name. Okay, and I think we need to close this. And let's save this. Okay, and yeah, we have class priority type not found up enums. So up enums priority type. Let's go up prior. Oh no, I have make a typo. So let's rename priority type okay and let's refresh now again we have priority yeah we need to change also here to be priority type to be string k okay. and why we have public const here anyway we need to say case here and let's see also the status. Status, we have status type string and also here we need to say case. And I think we are okay. Let's go to tasks. Cases as prior priority name and refresh. And yeah, we have now low here, normal and high, good. Let's do the same for the status. Let's copy this and paste it here. Just change the priorities to be status type like this. And also as status like this. Save. And now we have started in progress and done. And also low, normal and high. And that's it about this video, friends. In the next video, we are going to talk about the form. So if you go, if you scroll down, we have covered the properties, components, and actions. Now we need to talk about forms. Okay, so that is going to be in the next video. I hope you enjoy and see you there. All the best.